Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Octopath Traveler. Uh, last time we met up with Cyrus and he told us the beginning of his tale, leading up to realising that the one who's stolen the tome is Russell, I still think it's Headmaster Yvonne, we'll see. And we have to go down here to the subterranean study in order to uh, catch the thief in the act and recover the stolen book. I don't know whether we'll actually run into uh, Headmaster Yvonne or if we'll run into Russell here. Again, I haven't actually played this part of the game. Oh no, I have played this part, I just can't remember it. Because you get to skip the first bit. Yeah, I didn't pay too much attention to any of the story when I was first playing, so... That was a mistake, because the story in this game is amazing. So, one of the reasons I'm glad I'm replaying it. Okay, I'm guessing these will be vulnerable, at least to some magic. Ah yes, uh, so one of Cyrus's powers, Study Foe, activates the beginning of every combat and reveals one weakness of all your enemies. It's really helpful. <laughs> uh, he also has uh, some abilities that will reveal other weaknesses, but we don't have those yet. Or maybe we do? Hang on. Yeah, we don't yet. We can get, it, get a scholar skill that will just reveal, like, what other weaknesses the creatures have. Um, what if you next? charge it up, it reveals more weaknesses, that kind of thing. It's pretty useful. Yeah. Okay, they're weak to axes we'll as well. That's all the save. There we go. Thus ends your da -da -da -da. Yeah, he's gonna level up pretty fast, because the others are much higher level than he is. So the monsters are gonna be much higher level as well. Since the, um, these chapters scale a little bit, depending on how many people you have in your party. So, the recommended level here is actually level 7, so level 1 Cyrus is not really equipped for this area yet. <laughs> He'll be okay though, because he has these friends with him. Flame, protect us. Study foe? Okay, um, we don't have any pole arms yet, which is what that item the bat needs is. Um, we have plenty of staves, so we can do that, for example. Uh, let's try axes. Nope. Well, let's try staves. Nope. Hmm, I wonder what that bat is vulnerable to. Maybe fire? Nope. Uh, bows? Yep, bows. Okay. <laughs> Heck yeah! Thou didst fight as a coach. And Cyrus leveled up again. So yeah, he's gonna level up quite quickly as we make our way through this cave. Which is pretty handy. Uh, I'm just gonna switch, switch our way back here. I think it's right here. Yeah, there we go. In order to get that treasure. We don't want to miss anything. I don't know if the treasure scales up or not, but, you know. Okay, he'll do study foe again, which means we now know they're weak to ice and light, respectively, which is handy dandy to know. Useful bit of information. So yeah, um, you can see his beginning scholar skills are already pretty dang good. You've got fire and ice to all foes. Um, and he'll learn more attacks that use different elements and stuff, and he gets really powerful. He's a useful party member to have. He's not as strong as the others yet, of course, but we'll get there. We'll get there. So he's gaining a level with pretty much every combat at this point, so he'll get strong pretty quickly. Um, let me just scroll that up. There we go. Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure um, my Vigu meters were looking okay over there. And they are, so we're good. Looks like there's a path over that way, but it, I can't go through there. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Just trying to figure out how to reach one of those chests, but... Okay, these are weak to staves and... Ooh, ice magic. Okay. What next? Uh, axes as well, so let's start with axes. And ice cream. That's a thing you put on your ice cream and it, it turns I'll into like best. solid chocolate. Right? I 
think it comes in other flavors too, but basically it's like chocolate syrup that's designed so the coldness of the ice cream freezes it into a solid shell. It's a pretty fun gimmick. Okay, Cyrus can learn a new skill, so we're gonna give him one. Um, in a moment. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Now that gives us wind attire. That's probably a piece of outfit. Let's have a look. I'm guessing Cyrus can wear it. Yeah, it, it buffs the speed quite a lot, but it weakens us in other ways, so it's probably not ideal to wear, but it's probably handy to have on our person just in case. No, I wanted just to wear it if I optimize my equipment, so alright, we'll wear it. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. Anyway, uh, we're going to teach ourselves a new skill for Cyrus. Um, so yeah, we can get Lightning Bolt, which does the same as these, but with lightning damage. Uh, Analyze is the one I mentioned that will reveal the, the, the foe's weaknesses. It also tells you their current HP, which is pretty handy. Um, I think it's probably the best thing to get first, because it's just so useful to find out people's weaknesses quickly in this game. So I'm going to grab that. It says one weakness, but if you boost it with the boost points, it becomes two weaknesses, three weaknesses, or four weaknesses. So it's pretty handy. Uh, next we'll probably get Lightning Bolt, just so we can round out our different um, types. And then I guess we'll go for these ones. Obviously these are better because they deal damage twice, so they take down two armor points instead of one, but we haven't got access to them yet. We might pick, pick up... Uh, we might get Lightning Storm next, actually. The one that does twice as much. I don't, don't, I already forgot if it's called Lightning Storm or something else, but we might get it. I've done my research on you. You surprised your foe? Study foe? Okay, so th that green thing there is wind magic. We don't have that yet, so there's no way we can do that. And the little that sword thingy is a dagger. We also don't have one of those yet. Uh, so we can't actually do either of those new types of weaknesses, Coming but we will have access to them eventually. Alive. We got bit by a bat. The flame guides us through. Uh, da -da -da -da. Level five Cyrus. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> uh, treasure up here. It's another one over there. I'm not trying to get to it though. Okay, we already know all the weaknesses, so study what foe won't happen. Yeah. Because there's nothing else to study, we've already finished that. I will not be defeated. Let me die. I honor you, my queen. Ooh, level 10 harnet. Level 10 Harnet, y'all. Very exciting. <laughs> I feel like if I go this way, there'll be a treasure? Yes. Old coin. I think I can sell that or something for money. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get past that without doing the battle. And I still want to get the other treasure. Hang on, let me just have a quick look. Uh, so I can see another treasure back there. But I might need to get it after the battle, I'm not sure. Okay, they wake to swords, which we don't have yet, but when we get some swords, we'll be able to use them. Coming, if thou darest. They're also weak to a bunch of other stuff, so I don't have to really worry too much. These things have a lot of weaknesses. Well then. What the Easy peasy. See, that chest over there looks like... Hmm, maybe you can get it from... Oh, over here. Back, back here. No, no, you can't go through there. Hmm. I'm not sure how you get to that. Ooh, an ice sentinel. 
Okay, they're weak to polongs. They're probably weak to the other the stuff begin. that the other sentinels weak to. Yeah, like axes. I'm guessing they're weak to fire instead of ice because they're an ice sentinel. Makes sense to me. <laughs> I'm really confused. Uh, hmm. Maybe there's another path back further? I don't want to miss anything. Okay, these guys are only weak to magic, if I recall correctly. That's dark magic, which we don't have. We can try some other kinds of magic. Light magic's no good. Um, how about lightning? Hmm. Okay, there are other weaknesses. Ice, which we don't have. Well, we do have ice. We can use it from here. There we go. Okay, then we should be able to hit it with regular attack and deal decent damage. It's broken. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I won't worry too much about that last chest. We've probably got now, enough. Okay. Um. What next? Leveled up. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe, maybe you just hang on. Just save again. Now, yeah, there's a lot of random continue. encounters in this game. It's a bit much, really. I'll do my best. Save again. I think I might just be able to walk forward to get past. Um, just get past there and go over this way. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> light soul stone doesn't really matter too much, but you know, it might come in handy if we need to do some light damage. Although Ophelia has light skills, so you know, we already have the ability to do light damage. So whatever. <laughs> Too bad though. Need to get a little bit. Of I'll do my best. There we go. I hope I grow more. Billy leveled up, yeah. I was gonna give her a heal on her SP because it was kinda low, but we don't need to now because she just leveled up. Just gonna save and then fight the boss. Let's go. That wasn't really a waste of time, even if it feels like one, because we got more levels and stuff, so. That's still good. <laughs> okay, I think that is Russell. I was sure it would be someone else. I was sure it would be Headmaster Yvonne. Weird. Uh, uh, what? P Professor Albright? 
Are you always in the habit of barging into your peers' offices while they're working? Excuse me. My apologies. I would have knocked, but I didn't see a door. A moment of your time. Apropos of nothing, mayhap you've heard that a certain tome was stolen from the archives? I haven't the faintest clue what you're talking about. Come now. Come now, Russell. Playing dumb is just gonna drag this out for the both of us. So let's cut straight to the heart of the matter. You're a thief, and I can prove it. <sighs> what? The hells you can. The truth is... Unfortunately for you, at precisely the moment you were trying to sneak back with the key, your friend the guardsman was just waking from his little slumber. Uh, uh, but that's impossible. He was asleep, and positively... Ugh. <laughs> oh. Keeping up on our friend's somnolence. Som som somnolence, are we, old chum? Mm. It, it was a slip of the tongue. I tell you, I know nothing about this God's damned book. Is that so? Figured you'd say as much. Then perhaps you'd care to, me care to accompany me to the academy? To prove your innocence, of course. Huh. <gasps> Damn it! Damn it all to hell. Hell's plural. It was the perfect plan. If not for your bloody meddling, I could have had it all. Oh, you're very tall. <laughs> okay, um, so the other critters in the back there take fire damage, so I'm gonna start with a bit of that. Russell himself does not take fire damage, so we'll try some other stuff. Uh, okay, staves is weak to staves. Okay, they're weak to ants. <laughs> hmm. What about life? No, not weak to life. It was worth a try. Yeah, I had a feeling he might be weak to ice. Um, that was a bad move. That. Dang it. Um, about lightning. No, he's not weak to lightning. No. We already know he's only weak to ice and to uh, wind magic. You can tell from the graphics of the. The, the organization of the different bits of the thing. That's really vague. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay, Cyrus is going next. He's got really, really low health right now. Uh, let's knock out Russell like that. We my best. Then we can do a little bit of a heal more here. To bring him back to health. There we go. Then we can have Harnet attack with something real strong. Like that. Well then. Holy light on you, there we go. What 
Then I guess I'll start using Fireball again to get the Ice Ball taken out. What next? You can really try my bows, right? Hang on, summon beast. Let's try a different beast. What about Snow Marmot? Okay, they're not weak to swords. It's worth a try. Coming, if thou darest. Let's go, Lind. <laughs> the logical course of action. Oh, flames! Rage! Rock! I'll not be defeated! Hmm. I'm in trouble here. I'll do my best! Okay, no, they're weak to lightning. Should have tried that sooner. Fire us down. Fire us down. Uh, let's give him uh, an olive of life. There we go. Coming so well. Um, hmm. Have this. Give an olive. There we go. What is the logical course of action? Okay, we can break that. I'll do my best. Bring about the miracle of healing. And heal everyone up full. There we go. Let in the hunt begin. Can it can you use. Okay, one of the like little cloud monsters is gone. What's Imidate do? Oh, it uses some sort of status effect. Okay, I can't use my good skills. That's not good. What next? <sighs> okay, both of the little orb thingies are gone. So that's good. I'll do my best. Yes, you with the swords. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Being weak to swords. <laughs> That's what I like to see. I have no idea what health this hot guy has, and I don't want to waste a turn analyzing it. He does a lot of damage. Coming if thou darest. Um. <laughs> Break. Coming if thou darest. Beginning. Yeah, there we go. Victory. Woo! I hope I've grown more. Da, 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 da. 
<laughs> da -da -da -da. I swear, I never meant to. I just needed the money. Just so. That tome would fetch a small fortune. This is true. And yet, did you not for a moment consider the consequences? Say it is not so. St in stealing that tome, you would steal from our students something far more valuable than all the realm's riches. A grave crime no matter who would perpetrate it, but all the more unforgivable when committed by one who calls himself a scholar. You should be stealing gold instead. You should steal from the headmaster. That's what I'm telling you right now. Do be gay, do crimes, but don't steal knowledge. Steal something else. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'll be. You actually did crack the case of the stolen book. Indeed. That I did. And yet, I fear this may not be the only volume her friend had purloined. <laughs> Russell has already confessed to the full extent of his crimes, and revealed the names of his business associates. Nearly tracked down the books and purchased them back. I'll speak to the guards and see the re redouble security of the archives. What's this? Says so there's another book still missing? Did that scoundrel of a scholar steal this one as well? Actually... Ah, from the far reaches of hell. No, I can assure you that he did not. It's been missing for some 15 years now. Russell's aggressive borrowing only extends some two years back. I see. I see. So this volume was lost or stolen long before that. Yes. Right as always, Professor. Pray tell me more about From the Far Reaches of Hell. According to our records, it was going to be a compendium of ancient rites and long lost magics. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, it was the single oldest volume housed within our archives. Needless to say, it was a tremendous loss. Most intriguing. Oh ho! You guess another mystery, it would seem. Professor Albright, the headmaster would speak with you at once. Oh, you, ha you have a voice? Or you, you can talk? Like... You don't really have a voice because you don't, you're not voiced, but you, haven't, you, you have words. You're allowed to say lines, is what I'm trying to say here, because you didn't say any lines before. You were standing in the room. Again? What could it be this time? <laughs> Perhaps he plans to commend you for your role in apprehending the library thief. I have no interest in accolades, but if he insists... Okay, we're gonna go talk to him. Over here. Professor Albright, as asked, sir. Good. Enter. Thank you, Lucia. Okay, her name's Lucia. Yes, Headmaster. Now we know. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Something tells me he's not about to offer a commendation. Professor Albright, a most troubling report has reached my ears. A report, sir? An anonymous source claims that you have abused your prestigious position to enter into an illicit relationship with Her Highness the Princess. God, I hope not. That would be very gross if I'd done that, but I think 
we were just talking about scholarly matters. Oh. And you believe this report, sir? If it is untrue, then say so. Why, it is unfounded, unsubstantiated, balderdash of the highest order. I would like to take your words at face value, Professor, but I fear the situation is not so simple. A rumor regarding the royal family, even an unsubstantiated one such as this, is sure to spread quickly. If we do not take swift action, Princess Mary's good name could be forever sunk. That is something that simply cannot be allowed to happen. Sure, you understand. And so, what do you intend to do with me, sir? It is not an easy decision to make. Dismissing you outright would be tantamount to an admission of guilt. If I may be so bold, Headmaster, what about a sabbatical? Professor Albright has put on extended leave, while official accounts state that he's doing field work in a distant land. What say you, Cyrus? This way, both the Academy's reputation and your own will remain intact. My reputation? Do we have a problem, Professor? Not at all, Headmaster. On the contrary, this might prove the perfect opportunity. Opportunity? For what? As a matter of fact, there is a matter which has piqued my interest of late. I was just wondering when I might find the time to do a bit of research in the field. I think I will set forth on a journey in search of an ancient tome that disappeared 15 years ago. Besides, if I am not permitted to share what I have learned with my peers and the public, there is little point in continuing my research here. Is that so? Do tell, Professor. What is it that you intend to investigate? As regards a certain tome. Now, if you will forgive me, I must begin packing for my journey. Good day to you, Headmaster. Mm, an enigma as ever, that one. Hmm. <laughs> Therese, did you spread that rumor? Oh, Therese, what is it? I... I heard that you were leaving the Academy. Then you heard true. P professor I, I'm so sorry. I see. So you were the source of the rumor. Oh my god. You... you knew? Not until just this moment, when you apologized. And yet, I cannot fathom your motive. Why would you tell such a terrible lie? You're always helping Her Highness, answering her every question. I just wanted you to pay more attention to me. And that's why you went to the Headmaster? Y yes but I, I just wanted to get you in a little trouble. I didn't think they would- Oh my god, Therese. I'm so sorry, Professor. Can you ever forgive me? Worry not, my dear. It just so happens that I was looking for a good excuse to go on a journey. You were? 
For some time now, I've wanted to travel the realm and see what can be learned beyond these halls. I dare say the timing couldn't have been better. You see, there's a certain matter I simply can't wait to investigate. So fret not, my girl. If anything, you've done me a favor. Besides, I am not entirely without fault in the matter. Oh god, really? Indeed. I have not been as attentive to you as I should. Oh, right, yeah. Okay. Had I realized your true intention sooner, I would not be in this position. Professor, whatever do you... If only I had realized how devoted you were to your studies, my dear girl. My studies? I have always striven to treat all my students equally. And yet, Her Highness is always eager to ask questions, and I was all too eager to answer them. In doing so, I may have given the impression that I favored her above you and others. This was not my intention, but I am at fault all the same. What others? There's just the two of them in the class. <laughs> hmm. If only I had seen you for the ardent and devoted young scholar that you are! <sighs> um, Professor... Perhaps you're not quite as sharp as I thought you were. Yes? <sighs> Never mind. Oh dear. Oh dear. In that case, I should be off. Pray do not shirk your studies, my girl. Yes, Professor. Will... will I ever see you again? I do not see why not, provided we both still live. And so Cyrus left the academy behind in search of the lost tome from the far reaches of hell. What dark secrets might its pages hold? Only the gods know. And that's the end of Cyrus's first chapter. I hope you enjoyed. Gonna head right back into Atlas Dam so we can save and stuff. Um, but that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, uh, I'll probably be grinding a bit off camera because the next place we need to be is over here at Ripple Tide, so we can meet Tressa. Uh, and Cyrus isn't quite level 9 yet, which is the recommended level, so I'll probably be grinding a little bit off camera. Um, actually, the trip to Ripple Tide you'll be seeing, so um, I'll probably do that in the next video. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah. Bye!